Sunrise on the New York Wheel construction site, a recent June Saturday. The first of many huge and significant events saw over 400 cement trucks loaded with specially mixed concrete shuttle in and out near the wheel's south foundation over a 14-hour period starting at 3 a.m. Nearly 4,000 cubic yards of cement weighing more than 16 million pounds were continuously poured into a foundation reinforced and crisscrossed with intricate computer-designed metalwork, which not only will give the wheel the strongest possible foundation, but will also work in concert with the North Foundation, seen here being poured some two weeks later. This is special. I mean, just the size of it. Uh, number one, it's a mass pour. Uh, you know, we have uh, 3,600, actually it's more than 3,600, it's over 4,000 cubic yards of concrete that we're pouring uh, at one time, which is unusual. It's extremely important that we pour it continuously so that, uh, you know, no joints form, it's monolithic and it all works together. We ended up sourcing all of the uh, concrete from, uh, or 60% of it, from Staten Island, which was uh, pleasant news to me. I thought it was all coming from New Jersey, from Bayonne, and from Brooklyn, and only 40% of it's from off the island. And that reduced the travel time and the logistical issues. We do indeed bias ourselves wherever we can, both for um, local content and also for WMBE, uh, women and minority-owned businesses, and uh, many of them are represented today on the site. It's nice when you see uh, all the planning uh, come to fruition. We're dumping uh, trucks every uh, about every three minutes. We're doing two trucks per hopper, and we have three belts running at once, uh, and then we're trying to create a backlog of trucks, this way they just keep moving. How many truck loads will come here today? Uh, over 400, over 400 truck loads. Yeah, it, you know, in addition to all of that concrete, we have uh, about 900 tons of reinforcing steel placed within that south cap that we're pouring today. And if you think about how much reinforcing steel that is, if you equate that to the terminal building that we'll be constructing in probably like another month or two, uh, that has 1,100 tons of steel in it. So this is almost a building within the foundation of steel. It's amazing. In addition to the creation of both foundations, one for each of the A-frame legs, which will shortly become a permanent part of the New York skyline, a great deal has been accomplished this past winter and spring at the New York Wheel site. The next few months will see the arrival and installation of the giant 400 plus foot crane, which will help lift the wheel's pedestal, legs, hub, and exterior structure into place, starting in the late summer. Over the summer, the four-story parking garage will be completed and open to the public, while the wheel's terminal building will start rising as well. You know, I very often drive out onto this site on a weekend with my wife. And I come out here not just for me to see what's happened at the end of the week, but to kind of share it with her. She moved out here to Staten Island with me. She's interested, so we come out here. And I find myself recently saying, what was I thinking that I could do this? It's so amazingly big and amazingly complicated. Um, so yes, I'm constantly in, in awe of the physical aspects of this project. You know, it's funny because going through the approval process, I was very um, gratified to get to the completion. Completing the financing, I was very gratified because I've done a lot of financing in my day, but it, this was a very special one. But watching the physicality of construction is very new to me. And so, yes, it's particularly gratifying, and I, I do stand in awe of it.